lead for so long. Um, have you seen a kind of freshness about them? And do you think that gap, that um, time off they've had in such a busy calendar can actually be a real help for them? Yeah, and look, as I said previously, I think that for those players who've played a lot of high-quality rugby over the last four or five years, it's it's been a godsend for them. They've come in, they're refreshed, they've got a spring in their step. And, and at yesterday's training, particularly, uh, all of those guys were, were pretty outstanding. Thank you. And, and just uh, can you just talk through your, your the question you get asked every time you do this, but the thinking behind the uh, the ten, tens and midfield switch? Uh, well, we feel that's the best 23 for the game. Um, we obviously look at the game as a 23 as opposed to what you guys do. Um, and we feel that's, that's the best order of our players for this game. Uh, and just on that final question for me, uh, Ollie Lawrence has given, got, got given another good opportunity. What do you hope he can bring on Saturday? Well, he's a good young player. You know, he's really developing well. We blooded him in, in the Autumn Cup. Uh, he gets another opportunity to start on Saturday. Um, he's, he runs good lines. He's a good defensive player. And he'll add a bit of punch to the back line. Thank you. Thanks, Mitch. Duncan, we'll come to you next, please. Hi, Eddie. Hi. Why, why do you like the balance of this midfield to start against Scotland? Uh, well, we feel that's 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 the right balance. Um, yeah, it's a good combination of of Owen's uh, tactical acumen, uh, Sl- Slady's uh, running skills, plus his left foot kicking, and and then Ollie's power. We feel that's right against Scotland. Sure, it's Saturday's the first. It's the 150th anniversary of the first meeting between the teams. What sense of what will that sense of history give the occasion? Do you think on Saturday? Well, the one thing I've really noticed, mate, is is how much our players love playing rugby. Yeah, you know, and they've got this opportunity to play rugby. How much they love being part of the team. How much they love playing for England. Um, and we know for Scotland, this is their most important game of the year. They talk about it all the time. But Scotland don't have a mortgage on pride. Um, you know, and our players get an opportunity to play in this historic game, the 150th uh, time the Calcutta Cup's been played for, and, and they're, they're going to be ready for it. Um, and, you know, we know Scotland's going to be up for it, but so will we. So it should be a great occasion. Is there anything unique about the rivalry with Scotland that really stands out for you? Oh, well, you listen to the Scottish how much it means to them. It's their biggest game of the year. It's the most important game of the year. They're playing for trophies. And that's a huge expectation for them. And maybe with 15 minutes to go in, that, in, that, in the game, the expectation is going to get pretty heavy for them. Thanks, Eddie. Thanks, Duncan. Julian, we'll come to you, please. Uh, morning, Eddie. You've said before that you sometimes learn more from your losses than your wins. What was your biggest lesson you felt the team learned from that remarkable draw at Twickenham two years ago? Um, well, we, as a, as a team from that particular game, uh, learned that we allowed ourselves to be seduced by the scoreboard. Um, and it, it seduced us into playing a, a way that suited uh, Scotland, invited them back in the game and... Uh, Since then, we've been working very hard to make sure that we just play each minute of the game. Thank you. Uh, Nick Mullins, we'll come to you, please. Thanks. Uh, Morning, Eddie. Um, First Six Nations starts for um, for Will Stewart and for Johnny Hill. I just wonder what you've seen from them in training over the last couple of weeks, what you saw in their eyes when you told them they were starting in the Six Nations for the first time? Uh, well, they don't. I don't tell them. They just find out a team selection. We don't tell people who are selected. We only talk to the people who aren't selected. Um, look, both of those guys have, have been progressing nicely. You know, Will Stewart's a guy that uh, came into our squad about 12 months ago. He's uh, worked really hard on his physical condition. He's worked hard on his scrummaging. And he's an outstanding ball carrier. And, and we're lucky to have him to start with uh, Sinks unavailable. Uh, Johnny Hill, we took to South Africa in 2018. Unfortunately, he spent most of the time on the toilet. Um, 
and since then he's worked really hard to to build his body up. Um, he's been consistently good for his club and he gives us that physical edge and and we needed that to replace a, a, a very important part of our team when George Cruz left. So Johnny fills that role as the as the working uh, number five in the pack um, and both of those guys are, are going to be ready on Saturday. You say that you haven't actually seen them face to face yet. Ahead of a, a game like this, their first starts. Will you actually spend time with them? Will you will you have any face to face time with them between now and Saturday? Uh, for for each of the players now, we work out what they need. You know, it's not what we need as coaches; it's what they need. And if they need a word from any of the coaches, we'll make sure they get them. If they don't, then you know, this last forty eight hours, particularly, we see it as the players' time, not the coaches' time. So we just work out what they need. Thank you. Don't be, 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 don't be